hot turkeys. Here we go. You guys gotta leave. Gobble, gobble to YouTube. See that extra hole and that extra pin. So without further ado, this is the Faxon Firearms Ion X Ultralight Rifle in full auto. What's going on guys? Today we are talking about the Faxon Firearms Ion X Ultralight Rifle. This thing is not kidding at all when it says ultralight guys. This thing is 4.93 pounds right out of the box and fully outfitted here with an optic and a suppressor. We are sitting at just under 7 pounds, probably about 6.99 so we might as well call it 7 pounds. But at 7 pounds we have a ready to go pretty much battle rifle. That the only thing we're really missing out. here is a light and a laser. So you're looking at roughly probably seven and a half, eight pounds at the most when you put those two things on here. So a fully ready to go rifle at that light of weight is pretty unheard of. And I believe that is definitely something worthy of talking about. So when we talk about what makes up this rifle, guys, you got a lot of key components with Faxon that are giving it right, such a light weight. And sure. Faxon is a company it that I have followed and actually Before been a customer thing. of for a very long time. I actually personally have a pencil barrel in one of my rifles, as well as a couple of gunner barrels. And I also have their low weight DCG in one of my firearms as well. So... Faxon is definitely not a new company to me, but this is the first time I've had an opportunity to actually be sent something to review. Um, so that was pretty dang cool to get our hands on this rifle and to put it through that good old OP torture test. Um, you know, so starting basically on this rifle, let's break it down here. The rifle itself, we took off their standard muzzle brake. So if you guys look, their standard muzzle brake is a little bit of a kind of just like a little you know, recoil reducing muzzle brake here, almost like a very mini 50 cal in a way. It is uh, slim line and contoured to fit exactly on that barrel. So it does look really clean with this thing installed. Um, but we went ahead and took that brake off and put one of our Reardon uh, manufacturing brakes on here because we were wanting to use our primary weapon systems BDE suppressor. So Having that ability to go ahead and put that brake on was a must for us. We really like shooting everything suppressed. We believe that does kind of uh, advance the torture test a little bit more quickly if you shoot majority of the round suppressed. So if we can knock that out and give a more realistic torture test or a more reliable torture test for you guys, uh, that's something that we're all about. But we went ahead and swapped that over. We have the primary weapon system suppressor here. And then we were sent a primary arms optic. This is their SLX with the Aurora reticle. So we slapped that on here with the cantilever mount and we're using this for the entire reviews. Overall though, the rifle itself was pretty much set up the way it needed to be right out of the box. There is not a single thing that I don't think I would change on this gun except maybe continue with the B5 furniture in the pistol grip and go with the Bravo stock as well. Uh, I do really like the stop mod stock style. I do like the mission first tactical style, and I know why they did that because of the lightweight, but that would probably be the only thing that I would swap out on this rifle itself. But 
you know, tip to butt here, guys, the barrel itself is a 16 inch pencil barrel. If you don't know what a pencil barrel is, they basically take a regular barrel and shave majority of that excess weight off. So you have a super skinny, lightweight barrel in this that comes into a Faxon Firearms adjustable gas block. So you have the ability to change the gas system and tune it to your liking. We did not mess with this thing at all. It was a little bit gassy when we started getting into those long, rain, or long round counts, but it wasn't something that was unbearable. So we just rocked it the way it was. Um, probably not the proper way to do that, but it did withstand that torture test right there too. Then we come into the carbon fiber lightweight handguard, guys. This thing is pretty dang cool. I've always been a little skeptical of carbon fiber, but this was something that was nice to have with how fast we were putting down rounds and how quickly this gun can heat up. So if you shave all that weight out of the barrel, what's going to happen, your barrel is going to heat up really dang quick, and then you have a warm hand and hot potatoes start to form right there. So... What they've done here with this carbon fiber rail is not only provide you with a lot lighter weight on the front end, but also the ability to kind of take that heat a little bit better and cool down a lot quicker was something I noticed. So I thought that was very cool that, hey, I do eventually have to put a glove on if I am shooting this all day long in a class and just nonstop putting down range and not or putting rounds down range and not really taking a break. But if I have the ability to let this thing cool down a few minutes, it doesn't take as long as you would think to cool down. So props on the entire front end here. Uh, very well done and definitely everything that I like about uh, Fax and Firearms for sure. When we come back into the receiver set here, guys, you have their low mass uh, lightweight receiver. They have taken quite a bit of the weight out with this little magwell here but also kind of gave uh, a unique look to it. You notice that there is no forward assist on the upper receiver, but it almost kind of gives that visual that it does. So I thought that was something that was pretty cool too. Instead of it just being a slick side upper like you see without forward assist a lot, they do kind of have that design in there to make it look snazzy on you guys. So really dang cool. Uh, the brass deflector here, guys, has some weight shaved out of it as well. So they have a hole in the bottom, hole in the top, and hole in the backside here. So that is just taking off a little bit more weight on that upper where they could. Then you have their low mass lightweight BCG, guys. This is something that I've had experience with before. It does look a little upgraded compared to the one I got a few years ago, but this thing is uh, definitely taking some weight out of that upper receiver as well. Then it does look like we have a Faxon brand charging handle here, guys. This is something that I've never seen before. I was really impressed with that. It's very easy to grab, and it is very uh, war-ready, in my opinion. It is rigid, so it is going to be easy to grab and going to take a lot of beating, I, I believe. So, And this rifle has a Hyperfire ED TDM single-stage trigger, guys. It was a really uh, simple trigger, but a very clean and smooth trigger on both the brake and the reset. So I think Faxon did a pretty good job of thinking into all the details of this rifle, not only in the aspect of shaving weight, but providing that quality as well. Yeah, that's about it on the receiver set. You know, you got the Bravo pistol grip and the Mission First Tactical Stock. Overall, this thing is built to run for sure. Uh, as you can see from the video, we definitely didn't take it easy on this thing. Suppressed 100% of the time and performed really, really well. It was very accurate. It took us very little time to get this thing sighted in with this primary arms optic. And it made it through the entire torture test just fine. Uh, I believe right now you're probably looking at about a 600 round count through this rifle. We did have a little bit of fun. Uh, if you guys did not see, we did have a guest out to our range the last couple of weeks, and he did shoot this rifle as well. So as you uh, can see from the video, he I think he enjoyed it. So that may be a good testimony to look into this Fax and Firearms Ion X when you guys get the chance. But big shout out to Faxon for sending us this rifle here at GunMade. We really appreciate the opportunity to review this gun. Uh, and we're very impressed with the time that we were able to spend with this thing. So now it comes down to uh, who's going to keep this gun for real now. <laughs> but uh, I guess a fight to the death, we'll figure that out. But the Facts and Firearms Ion X, guys, a yes from us here at GunMade. Definitely give it a shot. Go check it out if you get the opportunity. 
at least try to shoot one if you guys do get the chance. It's definitely worth your time, and I think it is a contender for the lightest rifle on the market, uh, especially in that AR-15 platform, and still have the ability to take whatever you would like to put on it, be versatile, and be durable. So... That's it, guys. We appreciate y'all tuning in. We hope you liked this video. If you did, share it with your friends, guys. And as always, we will see you in the next video.